Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome to GR World of War Z Day 141 Matrix Punch It. Good evening everyone and welcome to the aforementioned World War Z Day 141 mission. This mission will involve some air starts for the fixed wing guys, the F-15s, F-16s, A-10s, uh, Mirages and Vigans. Uh, this is necessary because there are no airfields within uh, the area of uh, operation available and landing will be on a, uh, a road strip uh, which needs to be secured by uh, Allied forces before you can actually land. So just bear that in mind. There is a briefing tab, fixed wing recovery on the signing in sheet, which will give you a bit more information. Uh, for the rest of us, it's all either carrier start or ground start for the helicopters on a FARB. The mission set in 2025, early 2025, after the Ukraine-Russia war ended with the uh, demise of President Putin, and his immediate successors. President Navalny, the current president, was able to take over following internal dissent and uh, a big hit to the Russian economy. However, some of the uh, forces in the Krasnodar Oblast are uh, continuing the fight and uh, they are regarded as dissidents from the main Russian government. So these are, uh, and our intelligence tells us that the forces are massing in the Termam area and in particular on the Chushka Peninsula and we think their objective is to cross the Kerch Strait to invade the Ukrainian shoreline east of Kerch. The Russian Federation forces don't have the will or the capacity, as I've mentioned, to suppress internal forces in the region, and they are not presently considered a threat. Georgia, to the south, remains studiously neutral, not wishing to cause trouble for the newly democratic Russian government, but they've stated that it will permit Ukrainian and United Nations aircraft to divert to their aerodromes to refuel and depart. They won't permit offensive operations from their territory. Neither side, uh, Russia or Ukraine, have the resources or intention of mounting intensive military operations. The allies of both uh, Ukraine and the United Nations have, or oh, sorry, the, both sides expended significant stocks of material, and that's further reduced the military capacity of each side. However, Ukrainian and United Nations forces have benefited from the significant release of obsolete military equipment from Western reserves, hence the availability of things like Harriers and F-14s. This mix of United Nations and Ukrainian forces is launching a campaign to suppress and destroy the forces in the uh, Kurzon Oblast before they, uh, sorry, in the, uh, uh, in the, on the Russian side before they can mount their invasion. Intelligence indicates that dissident Russian forces are equipped with obsolete, poorly maintained equipment, but they are very highly motivated as you might expect. So that's the general background. Uh, the weather is generally pretty good. It's early in the morning, so the sun's coming up. A um, little bit of cloud cover at about 9,000 feet and uh, good visibility underneath. Temperature is quite cold, about three to six degrees. Wind generally from the north to northeast. So if we look at the uh, map here, we can see the disposition of uh, forces generally, concentrated around this straight uh, to the west, uh, to the east of uh, Kerch and uh, to the south of Tamam on the Tamam Peninsula. The Air Star guys are starting up to the northwest, and the A-10 guys, there's nobody actually taking part, but there would be A-10s uh, over Sevastopol uh, on an Air Start as well. The Western Fleet is down to the uh, west of Sevastopol, consists of one CVN, Theodore Roosevelt, the Forrestal, and the HMS Ark Royal, and the LHA Tarawa. F-18s, F-14s, and AV-8Bs will spawn on these carriers. Uh, the main part of the operation is on the United States and uh, the United Nations, sorry, the Ukrainian and United Nations side is concentrating on the Kerch Peninsula here with a major FARP down on the south coast for the helos. That's where all the helos will spawn. The objectives for this evening are to establish a bridgehead uh, between uh, Taman, where the landing strip will be, and Anapa. So these isthmus here, where these lakes are across the a narrow part of the Kerch Peninsula is where we hope to establish the bridgehead. So the first objective for this evening is for all forces to secure this landing strip to the south of Tamam, otherwise the fixed wing guys won't be able to land. The second objective is to destroy all the forces amassing, amassing on the Chushka Peninsula, which is this narrow peninsula here to the north of Tamam. There are other uh, dispersed enemy forces in this peninsula and they need to be hunted down and destroyed. So once we've established the bridgehead for the next mission, which won't be until uh, a week or two, uh, we're planning to take over Anapa to, as a further base for our operations. So that's the general overview for tonight. So moving on to the in individual flights, we have Ford flight, 
F4, F15 ES4 Plus. So now start this one and you've got a loadout of one GBU24, 12 Mark 82s and some air-to-air -air stuff. You've got target pod and uh, night vision pods. The main threat for you is Russian, uh, dilapidated Russian aircraft and possibly the SA3s if you get close enough to those. Your primary target for tonight is these two Rapusha landing craft amassing near the Cheshka Peninsula. They're supporting the invasion fleet, which consists of a lot of landing craft and fa small fast attack boats. There's also a FARP uh, slightly to the north and a train which is offloading troops. Um, also, you can destroy that with your uh, Mark 82s. And there's a little bit of um, AAA uh, cover in the area as well, mostly uh, ZU-23s with the occasional uh, ZSU-57 too. Moving on to Pontiac, F-14B, you'll be taking off from the carriers. You'll be mounting cap to the south of the area of operations and you can expect to engage Russian MiG-23, MiG-21 and possibly some SU-25 Frogfoot and maybe some Mi-24 Hind helicopters. So keep a lookout for those. Your equipment is four AIM-54, two AIM-7, two AIM-9 mic and two fuel tank. Moving on to Python, F-16, again an air start to the northwest. Harm targeting system, fuel tank, four harms, two AMRAM and two AIM-9X. Primary target is the early warning radar at Krimsk. Uh, I've set up the number four aircraft for uh, with a loadout specifically to take that out, but the other two have harm missiles. Again, your threats are MiG-23, MiG-21 and SA-3. Uh, after you've taken out the primary target, go and have a go at some of the SA-3 sites at the nearby airports. So, this is your early warning radar here for number four. That's based at Krimsk. And you've got SA-3 sites at Anapa, Novorossiysk and Krimsk to take out. So moving on to Hornet, F-18s. This is a swing roll flight. One lightning pod, one fuel tank, two harms, two GBU-16 uh, and a bit of air-to-air -air stuff as well. So take off, make your way to the area south uh, of Kerch Peninsula and Listen out for calls for assistance, either from uh, for, uh, suppression of enemy air defence or with your LGBs to take out targets on the Trishka Peninsula. We've gone to Peugeot, uh, the Mirage 2000. Again, this is an air start. Uh, typical French um, air defence loadout. Again, capped to the north of the Kerch Peninsula and uh, the threats are RS for the F-14s. There's nobody flying in pig formation. Enfield is the Harriers. Uh, your role tonight is close air support. One targeting pod, two fuel tanks, two AIM-9M, 14 APKWS. You're on the carrier, so you can change those loadouts as you see fit. Um, <clears throat> one thing to note, your laser codes are set and they are separated. So your primary target, enemy ground forces on the Chushka Peninsula. And then secondary target is enemy ground forces south of the Tamam, uh, in the area of the Tamam airstrip, and also along the forward edge of the battle area, uh, Protecting landing zones three and landing zone two for the uh, transport helos. So moving on to the Volvo flight, call sign Springfield. Uh, Vigans, I've taken off the RB05s and the Sidewinders as per requested. So you'll only have the RB15s. Uh, your primary target is the enemy battle fleet consisting of one cruiser and three escorting destroyers, uh, departing Nova Rossisk and making its way uh, towards our area of operations. Secondary target, if you have any capacity to do so, is to target any enemy forces, but I think your capability to do that would be fairly minimal. Threats for you, MiG-23, MiG-21, and naval SAMs in particular, and any AAA uh, in our area of operations. Moving on to the transport helos, Thunderflight, MI-8, TB-2, starting at this far down to the uh, south of the Kerch Peninsula. Two door gunners, our objective tonight is to land uh, troops in landing zone one in particular, that's the top priority, so we can secure the landing site for the fixed wing guys. And then returning and picking up another chalk to land them at landing zone two and landing zone three in turn. Once you've disgorged the troops, they'll make their way up and deal with any enemy ground forces uh, along the edge of the battle area. Threats for you guys, SAM-3 if you get high enough, uh, AAA man pads in particular, and some of the enemy anti-air if they manage to get through. There may be a couple of Hind or KA-50 helicopters, uh, enemy helicopters in the area as well, so keep your eyes peeled for them and ask your escort for support. Uzi, <clears throat> I don't think we've got anyone flying with the Hueys tonight, but they have a very similar uh, brief for tonight. Pale Horse, the Apache helicopters. Loadout is 
uh, a mix of Hellfire missiles, 1200 rounds of the high explosive dual purpose for the cannon. Primary target is enemy ground forces south of Tamam. Again, we need to take out all of the enemy forces surrounding the uh, roads so that the fixed wing guys can land, and also to allow the uh, transport helos to land unimpeded by enemy forces. Again, the threats are for you are the same as for the transport helos. Last one then, Chevy, if anyone's uh, flying the KA-50 in the uh, Hind tonight. Same brief for you, uh, but your aim is to, your objective is to escort the helicopters a bit more closely, with the AH-64s roaming around a bit more freely to take out any any enemy targets of opportunity. Ford, F-15E, me and Simba, Pontiac, Tomcat, hi. Oh, thanks for the patches, hi. They came through, they look very nice. Awesome. Uh, I stuck them on my baby's hair. Jigsaw, <laughs> Denki, Python, F-16, Signore, Grand Speed, Ali, uh, Hornet, Hornet, Macabu, Bean, Shrak, Peugeot, Mirage, Drop, Enfield, Harrier, Elo, Tux, or no friendly fire today, please. Volvo, Vegan, Sock, Jaffas, Blood, Thunder, Me8, Matrix, Poosh, Brackets, Bean, uh, Pale Horse, Apache, Danny, Matrix, Red, Chevy, Me24, Harath, Belight. Oh, <laughs> it just kept me straight in, Simba. <laughs> I'm in. Are you in? Yep. Right, welcome in, viewers. Um, we had to wait five minutes before we could spawn in, and Simba's with me in the back. Yeah, baby. Uh, right. God, let's get everything ready, Simba. Uh, radar on. Jaded on. I need some freaking lights. My old man eyes. They're not so good no more, Simba. Not so good. Turn that S down. That on. Master arm on. Simba, can you check if the bird's armed up with bombs? Pack that is. It is. Yep, we have Mark 82s and GBU 24. All right, well, GBU 24 first. We're going for those Rapushas, aren't we? <clears throat> um, I didn't see anything in the brief about steer points. Let me go and have a look. Hang on, I don't know if she's set the plane up yet. We are over southern Ukraine. Steer point one is there. Steer point two is near the target. Steer point two. Uh, I might as well just plug that straight in, I guess. So two, enter. Distance. Oh, 180 nautical miles in back. We've got ages to go. Fuel is. 30,000, good old Matrix. Are you happy with 30,000? Signal, you on frequency? Yep. All right, wow, there's a wind. There is a wind out today, Simbra, I'll tell you that. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Any of the uh, F-18 guys in yet? Actually, F-16 guys. No, none of us are in yet. I'm going on autopilot. That's just that we see the F-15s and everything. Uh, appear to be on their biggest. Uh, the Mark 82s are dumb bombs. Do you want them in yeah. single release or multiples? Um, probably single, but it sounds like a friggin' nightmare because we're going to get tripled A to death again, aren't we? With this wind, dumb bombs are going to be useless. We are full mill. Yeah, I think I'm Signore and we are Grand 300 Speed knots, have 30,000 feet. So unless they're in the aircraft, they're not on. Big S old angle of attack. Not frequency yet. Big old angle of attack. We are heavy today. Never mind, that will sort itself out. Viewers, um, I don't really know what's going on, but I know we're there, if you can see that. Uh, there is the east of Crimea. There is sort of that target. It's on a spit of land. It's called the something spit, is where our target is, Simba. About steer point two. I don't know why we've got all these waypoints here, but that's, that's definitely our target. Uh, Matrix from LED. And I have no idea what else is going on. That is all. You 
know, it's probably just sitting in the cockpit for 200 miles. Let's see what's going on. Looks like Fog of War's on, so we see our assets and some of the hostile assets. So we've got F-14s doing air-to-air. -air. Uh, 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 uh. What have we got? F-18s doing seed and some bombing. Harriers doing whatever the hell it is Harriers do. Uh, we're all the way out here over Ukraine. Ah, right, we've got Wigans. Oh, look, we're right next to some Wigans, Simba. Look out to three o'clock, you'll see some Wigans. Uh, Signora, you on frequency? I do see Wigans. We've got a whole bunch of helicopters, and I never ever know what the helicopters do or get time to look at them, so why don't we go and have a look? We've got uh, half polygonized uh, attack Apaches. Pretty pol polygonized Apaches. We've got a Mi 24 in Ukrainian colors. Oh, look at that. There's some troops down there with a British flag. Look at that, viewers. British flag. A million troops. See them? Push is loading them up. Uh, we've got a Mi-8 Matrix. Picking up more men. We've got UH-1. Anybody from Python on Crimson? Doing whatever they do. Radio Just dropped here, so. Grand speed zone, uh, still waiting to slot in. Well, Matrix at the 10 minute delay, so we still have uh, three more minutes. How do we? FYI, F-15E is on your channel as well, because we've got nowhere else to be, so suck it up, boys. Oh, we're up to 350 knots, Simba. We are so frigging cool. Uh, Simba, have you packed, done all the packs and lasers and all that stuff? Hey, fur. FYI, we've got a, a, a really annoying-looking cloud cover there. I guess we can go under it, actually. Right, what's two telling us? We have an SA2 guideline, we have a SA3 Davina. Uh, what else? Early warning. Also, can be advised your uh, Mirage Escort uh, is no longer. Um, it was sent to the wrong aircraft type. Um, by the way, have you guys taken out the SAMs yet? Because we're about to start bombing where their SAMs are. We're not airborne yet, Cap. We're not in. You're trying to tell me you haven't taken out the SAMs? We haven't, work we haven't even got in the game yet. I'm winding them up, Simba. I guess you can't hear. Roger, we'll chop, chop, guys. No, we, we've got a delay. I mean, <laughs> well, it's not letting us in. They're only 107 nautical miles away. They should be able to throw it into afterburner and. No, it's the F-16s. They're not. They haven't even spawned in. The game hasn't let them spawn in yet. I'm just winding them up. I do like winding people up, Simba. It's a thing. Uh, this is Hornet flight. Uh, we're airborne. Hornets are up with harms as well. Uh, right, I've got contacts on the radar symbol, Wimber. A long way away. Wow, this is a powerful radar. Just saying. Right, um, so I'm going to do a manual IFF, if I can remember how. Which, of course, I can't. Yes, I can. Look at that. Transponder request and no report, but the brick also disappeared. I think it's on fog of war, so we can only see what our sensors see, viewers, and we can't see whatever that was. Obviously, this is more of a fun mission than a super serious one, but fun is important, viewers. Even Simba would agree that you need some fun. Oh, yeah, good point. So I will lock it. Only a little bit. Simba, you haven't forgotten to do anything, have you? Because I know you're quite old, like me. Yeah, hold on it uh, from Python. Yeah. I'm still trying to remember if I put on I underwear today. I can change to one. I haven't. Uh, basically, I can't remember the last time I had clean underwear, and my ones, currently ones, are so dirty, I'm just wearing two pairs you of trousers, it? which is what you guys call pants, by the way. Wow, this helicopter is really going for it. Oh, there's our Rapushas. Look, I can see our Rapushas we need to bomb. Do you hear me, Grand Speed? I am a Rapusha, and I'm yep. going to... Yep, I hear ignoring. Alright. Okay, let's ignore it and the boys are on comms. And let's see where everyone is. So, who's this back? Oh, the F-16s are in finally. F-16s, I see you bothered to turn up. Yeah, we finally got in. Um, we have that delayed bond thing. 
Alright, we'll come and do our job. Come and take these freaking sounds out, Polish guys. Yes, sir. Roger. Polish guys. Grand speed. Push like 300 so we can have some of them. You're not talking on with everybody. Where are those Wigans gone? I've lost. Oh, there they are. They're still making time with us. Look at that. Man, Wigans are cool. Hey, Wigans. And the Apaches got to the coast. I am an Apache. Wow, summit's already blown up in Russia. In the Kerch Peninsula. 90 miles from target. We'll have to turn around for too long because A, there's baddies, and B, there is um, Sam's. We might get a shot of this guy. Are you um, tracking my radar progress? I am monitoring you. I'm just going to do a double IFF check. Okay, IFF. Oh, it's friendly. Where'd that come from? Those are probably the helos. Yep. I'm sure they weren't reporting before. Try that again. Yep, friendly. See the circles, viewers? It's a friendly transponder. Well, blow me down. Oh, the Harriers are up. Ali, you're on the uh, EWR duty, yeah? But when we get to about 50 miles from the target, we'll have to wait for the seed to do their work. I'll put you in control then, and you can just put us in an orbit while we wait. Right, viewers, our Rapushas are only 60 miles away, 10 more miles, and we're gonna have to hold because we've got ahead of everyone because we are silly biddies and we're just too efficient and sexy. And, and we've got more friggin' fuel than anyone knows what to do with. 28,000 pounds, Simba, Wimba, Blimba, Mimba. Just that saying. just sounds like party time fuel. It does sound like party time fuel. It's just like we've got this kerosene or whatever it is. We might as well just go friggin' nuts on it. 50 miles, Simba, take control of the jet. Try not to crash it. Um, I'm going to go and watch everyone else until the sea ad's done. Right, viewers, we might as well watch from here because the good Lord saw fit to give us uh, this access. Right, Red's up there being absolutely uh, crazy. When we do helicopters, viewers, we allow them two lives because it's so hard to survive in a helicopter. <coughs> right, here come the uh, F-18s to take out our lovely Sams. Take them out, take them out. That's a cool livery, viewers. Mm. Viewers are reminding me, Simba, last time you flew the plane, uh, you set the wings on fire. Go ahead, for two. Uh... Did we Just land there. and not run into a tank? Yes, well, maybe. I would, I would call that a success. All right, there you go. Come on, Boggs, do your stinking job. F-14's doing F-14 thing. Ah, there must be some baddies, because look, they've got some points and stuff. Go on, hi. Hi lives in Mexico, 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 Me Mexico. And he just sent me a bunch of uh, patches, viewers. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's why it's my favorite Mexican. Yeah, I said it, Mexican. Oh, missile out. That's what we call right place, right time, I believe. Okay, uh, helicopters are doing shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Uh, right next to our target. I hope they didn't kill our target. In fact, I can see our target. Those are our target. I just don't want to go in yet, viewers, because um, I don't want to get taken up by a Sam straight away. I don't know where they are, obviously. Might be one there. I think there is one right... No, don't know. And... Kaboomy! He did a thing. First shot of the day. Wait for the Boggingtons to do their freaking job. Boggs cap. Yeah, go ahead, cap. Hello, Bean. Have you fired your harms and taken out those Sams yet? Uh, negative. We're uh, just on our way to target. So uh, I'm going to take a punt of frigates and my wingmen are going to take a go at those SA3s. Roger. Oh, missile out. It's one of those. And pop. Me 24 in doing some bang bang boom boom. You know what, Simba? Helicopters are now operating at a few thousand feet above our target. I think we're actually. I think we're actually going to be okay to go in. Um, I'm going to take control back and you do the bombing, Simba. 
Um, okay. As far as setting up anything you need to set up, I'm going to go and do a thing. Right, do you want to get your teapot warmed up, Simba Wimba? Already warmed up. We are 40 miles away, Simba. You might be able to start getting eyes on it now. In fact, I need to get lower, clearly. We'll start with the GBU-24, Simba. What is it that I'm looking for again? Um, at steer point two, there'll be a spit of land, like a long, straight bit of land. You look, on the end of that, you're looking for two ships. It's a little ways out, yeah, it's still 33 miles. I'm just trying to find you some decent line of sight. We have a hostile brick at 40 miles, appears to be a slow mover, so I'm not going to pay it too much attention. But I am just going to bear it in mind. Some of you are 20, about 24 miles from the target. Oh, I can actually, I've got a visual on the boats. I'm going to put them on your nose, so they're going to be at zero degrees relative. Just give me a second. You got the hostile boats? Uh, yes. All right, it's gonna have to be quite a quick run because uh, there are now bricks appearing uh, everywhere and they are baddies. So you want the boat closest to the... Yes, please. Yeah, and listen out for Sam's because I've never really found out where the Sam's are, but... Hostile, 50 miles away. Target, 20 miles. Simba, you have the trigger for the bomb. You have the trigger. All right, Simba, 17 miles, 90 seconds till drop. Right, what do we have? SA3, but no fire. So let's proceed. Just gonna put us above manpad range. SA3, but no fire. 14 miles, 60 seconds till drop. Forty miles to hostile bricks. Can't see anything. Twelve miles, still sixty seconds. Above manpad range. Forty seconds still drop. Ten miles. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thirty miles to brick. Oh, it's gonna be quick, Simba. Ah, sorry Simba, cancel, 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 cancel. Gotta get out. That was bad, Tommy. Can you trap and fair the shit out of this? I don't know what fine that is. Huh. Cap trapping and flaring the shit out of it. We're fine. Missiles evaded. Alright Simba, it's annoying but we can't get that target. Uh, it's just not worth the risk it. I'm gonna can you take control, take us west again please? We just have to let us see how do that work. You have control. Yeah, quite a lot of hostiles. Uh, with us. Don't uh, Can crush you guys the plane, come over please. and give us a hand, please? Oh, Jesus, just in time. Migs, uh, Simba, just take my word for it. Burn out of combat, yeah, burn out of combat. Careful. I didn't realise how close we were to hostiles. 280 Simba, Buster.
They'll come and help us out, viewers. Um, it's kind of cheating, but it's also not viewers, because in real life, F15 has a, a data link like this that allows you to see all this stuff, and it doesn't have it yet in-game. Um, so. Who's is telling me MiG-23s. Yeah, but he's just turned for another guy, so you are safe. You can go back to mill power, but um, exercise caution and keep heading this way for at least 20 miles. Right, viewers, things are about to get jazzy. Wow, you won't believe it, but one of the Tomcats has shot a Phoenix at us, and it is tracking us, Simba. It's a Phoenix at us, and it is tracking us. Um, we look safe. What's our current IAS? 392. Okay, it's coming at a true speed of 600 knots, which is about the same as us, so we're okay. But, uh, yeah, that could have been a bit embarrassing. I wonder who shot that. Oh, wow. A thing has definitely happened here. A lot of our guys are about to get shot down. I think these probably these MiGs just spawned in with our guys viewers. Probably. Bean cap. Yeah, go ahead, Cap. Your wingmen are all mixed in with bandits, make them aware. Yep, I have done and I've asked the F14s to get the thumb out of their ass. But they do need to take their thumb out of their bottom. They do. Uh, Bean did kill a MiG-23 with a 9X. Yeah, I'm watching it all now, right now. Strack got a SA-2. Oh, nice. Flat face. What seems to have happened is the box went in, a bunch of and a bunch of MiG-21s have either taken off or spawned inside them. And they're all now in ACM. Yeah, at least coming into you guys. But they should win it pretty easily. The vegans are all merged, the tomcats are all merged, a giant Charlie Foxtrot sat I'm so glad we got out. I right, Simba, you don't need to go any further out, but you just loiter there. Plex, mess. Okay, one MiG down. Oh, and Boggington. Dogfighting with GBUs. Best dogfight. I wouldn't suggest dogfighting in the cloud, but... Go on, F-14. But a missile lock, bot, bot. Nearest contact appears to be 60 miles from our Simba, so we're all beautiful. On the plus side, the MiGs aren't doing very well at shooting our guys down. Where's... Oh, Bean's been shot down. No, he hasn't. F-16s are in doing Harmington. Macaboo killed a MiG-21. Jigsaw oh, killed a MiG-23. Uh, I'm mixed in with these clouds, I can't see it. Alright, Simba. That SA-3 is about to get taken out. Can you head us towards the target? I'll come and take over the flying in a, in a minute. No, this is different to you too, you know where it is. Yep. Just watching the uh, harms going to take that stinking SA-3 out. Yeah, I said it's stinking to you. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> My apologies, viewers. Fox 2. Ah, right. SA-3 about to get smacky smacky boom boomed. I think that was the one that shot at us, Viewingtons. Oh, it missed. Um, but, yeah, it just missed. Well, um, hmm. Not sure what an M3 is on the twos. Uh, unknown. Mirage 3000? Andre 3000? Yeah, I think I we're good to go. Coming in to take over. Supercap, I'm taking over. Do. Right, you have control of the bombs? Yep, we are. 31 miles. Uchi Mama. Yeah, right, this is where some weird desync happens now. They've got the air to air sewn up, so I'm going to look at the teapot. For the lols. I see a ship! Alright, you can come back from mill. We're about to go supersonic. Yes, sir. Some is spiking us, but it won't chew us, I'm sure. Uh, what's your VMAX you're happy with, Simba? Anything below mark is fine by me. All right, mark 0.9 we'll go for. Right, Viewingtons, uh, the SAMs are cleared out, we think. The MiGs okay, are cleared out, we think. Out. Nearest bandit's 40 miles, we can live with that. A Napa SA-3 tracking radar is down. Copy that, three, do you want me to come uh, in? I've got a minute and 20 to release. Yeah, punching it. 
nearest hostile, 35 miles, 11 miles to target, 20 seconds to release. Ooh, baby, this is exciting. I am excited. Uh, there are guns on that boat that are firing. Noted. Uh, 10 seconds to release. Big Bertha away. away. All right, baby. 30 seconds. 10 seconds to impact. I'm not seeing it flashing laser for some reason, Simba. It is. All right. Impact. Oh. Did it die? I didn't get a damage report. That's weird. All right, Simba. Um, can you set me up bombs on, on the CCIP and then start scanning around for hostile guns, find out what calibre they are and stuff like that, and we'll just take our time. The Rapucha is yellow, below 50% health. All right, you should have, vis uh, you should have visual in a second. Uh, just have a little Confirm. scan around and tell me what kind of cannon we're dealing with here. I see uh, tennis. It's coming from the boat itself. Is it, are they firing? Oh, they're not firing us, they can't be. Nope. Any idea if our RC dip will um, account for windage? Because there's huge windage on here. Uh, that would be a good question. Roger, are my bombs selected? They are. All right, I'm going to go in for a relatively safe pass from high altitude. I doubt I hit because of the wind, but we'll try. Can you investigate and see if you can find anywhere what the windage is? Not that we'll probably be able to account for it, but at least we'll know how to mitigate it a bit. All right, I'm just going to try and stay above the guns. Something's blowing up there. Magnum 10 shield. At cramp. Let's try and watch this bomb simmer. You can see where the wind is taking it. We can make adjustments. All right, I'm uh, at the ground level, it's two meters per second. From at 2,000 feet, it's eight meters per second, and 8,000, it's 18 meters per second. Watch out. Bomb away, let's see how it does. Oh, I got it, Simba. Right, direct here. Okay. So either CDEP is adjusting for the uh, windage, or more likely we were going into the wind or outside of the, you know, just a good aspect. All right, you took a, like maybe 10% health off that. Do you want to set boat? me up with? Do you want to set me up with twin, twin drops? Uh, sure. Just say where, say when. All right, you are on multiples. Running in. Or you're dropping pairs. Yep. I'm gonna go for the other one. On my way, I believe. Not the best drop in the world. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Simba, hit it. One hit. Nice, let's go around and do it again. Am I good to drop again, if you know what I mean? A firm. All right. Uh, if you would like, if you turn your jettison to combat select and yep. push and hold the red button. Pressed it. All right, yep, tanks are away. Nice. All right. Should be a little more agile. I'll take one out, Simba, and then I'll, and I'll give it to you to take the other one out. Well, the furthest boat from us is Red Health. Roger, I'll try and go for that one then. Oh, someone just shot it. Is it is it dead now? Negative. All right. And there are Higgins boats on the coastline. Roger. Running in and... King. Let's see how they do, Simba. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Yeah! Is she dead? She's not dead, is she? Nope, only one hit it, but it's down to a sliver of red health. All right, let's go around again. Um, how many bombs have we got left? Three. Oh, shag. Oh, that's annoying. All right, you take over. You finish it off, Simba. They just, we haven't got enough ordinance to take all these ships out. Simple as that. Right, um, just be warned that the guns, they're pretty mental that they've got, so just drop from high like I was doing. Right, viewers. <coughs> wow, we are covered in AAA. When did that happen? I think it was right, yeah, like one pixel of friggin' health. That is a tough boat viewing to Moomingtons. I wonder what gun it is that's taking us on. Can't see it. So you want me to go Top for point, uh, the one that's almost completely dead? Or? I think so, yeah. We've got to kill something. I see what's shooting us. They've got uh, 57 mic mics. Those sons of bitches. Here we go viewing to Moomingtons. Bombs a freaking way. That's good. 
boom. Wow, that was accurate, Zimba. Right, one ship destroyed. Um, I would suggest not strafing the rest of the guns. Um, they're firing with some very hardcore guns, as you can see coming from your uh, five o'clock now. Um, do we have any way of landing? I noticed they said there's a fob or something we can land at. Yes. Any idea where that was? Just watching stuff blow up. Boom. Yeah. I mean, we could always go and land on the carrier. Uh, uh, yes, that is one way. Let me... No, there is nowhere to land. Is there? His briefing was we could just loiter around until the fart becomes free. Right. Maybe it's best we loiter then and uh, support air to air. All right, Simba. Um, I'm going to put you in harm's way. Uh, if you can climb up, climb up to an efficient altitude, one zero five, uh, about sixty miles. The boys are operating there and could just do with a bit of air support just in case something spawns in. All right, that's it, viewers. So they've smashed all this stuff around here. Oh, Harris are attacking our target now, which is nice. Although they are about to get friggin' shot. Oh, we made a right mess of that other Raposha. Where's that anti-ship missile? I just don't... Ah, there it is. An interesting tracking method, viewers. Blood's going to be swearing today. waste we've got some harms doing something oh something's happening down there look at that viewers some old 80s soviet stuff's blasting on missiles huh. oh they've got a slava class cruiser look, this is the one that was sunk viewers in the black sea back in the day they were pretty good pieces of kit but 40 years later not so much Smash indeed. Smash. That looked pretty cool. Oh, there's a friggin' hind moving in to uh, finish off our target. Oh, hind is dangerously close to that Raposha. Don't risk it, man. So now, we can hit our Raposha. Yeah. Suck my fat one, Raposha. Why is it so dark? Jeez, you are getting close. Dangerously close, I might say. He is going to get shot down, viewers. Brave and ballsy, but stupid. That's why he belongs here. Yeah. He just got hit with a 100 mil shell. He's not surviving. Boom. What are those boys doing there? Doing something. Right, Simba, I found you an airbase you can strafe with no shore ad. One, zero, zero for 40. Uh, there's a base called Krimsk that the boys are strafing and attacking. Um... Go and help them do that, I suggest. I believe that might be waypoint five. Hmm. Well, that man said. That drops on friggin' fire. He wants something dead. Look at this, viewers. There's the fleet. There's the fleet. Oh, <laughs> and he goes straight back home. Back home drop, back home. What is he trying to achieve? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I found where the FARP is in, but it's just it's not it's not occupied yet. There's no buildings there. So they've got to do drop the men off or whatever. Wow, they dropped some men in the sea. That's not friendly. Why would they do that? If anything, that's extra work. And plus it will rust their guns. Oh sweet, they're running out to sea, that's why. Yeah, it's these guys, they're dropping the troops off to make the FARP. And there's the FARP. Well, I found the part when it does come to land, you, uh, Simba. Someone's going to get thwacked, viewers. Do we have an air-to-ground gun sight? 
Yeah, can you remember how to operate it? You gotta put the HUD in command, Simba. You gotta be in air to ground mode. You gotta put the HUD in command. And then you gotta do something with your acquisition. Uh, I think it's R to select the gun sight. Right, there is still target, says Simba. Drops finally fired his missile or something. Nope. I'm not able to. I'll just fire it by tracer. Shot drop. Just took an SA3 out. You doing it again? Internet points drop. Real life internet points. I might bag him a girlfriend at some point. Uh, and that's it. That's all that's happening. Just waiting for. Look, the guys are unleashing the troops here, viewers, to get the farm, which is there. All right. Let's see what we can see, Simba. I can already see something just forward and checking fuel. Fourteen thousand. Ooh wee. Nope. I don't have the gun. Uh, is it? You can't do it from the rear. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Uh, correct. Okay. All right. Can you be in charge of T-Bot and spotted uh, spotting and pass over the patrol? All right, Simba. Edge ground mode. Check. Uh, gun. Uh, that just went to where to air. That's no good. Let's try that again. Edge at ground mode. Right. How do we select the gun to use in edge ground mode? If I select the gun, it goes to air to air mode, Simba. Oh, I'm all good. Doesn't matter. There you go. Yeah, I'm yeah, all good. There you go. Paper. Right, uh, where's the target? There it is. Right, you're in charge of spotting target. Oh, doesn't matter, I found something. Just near side, the runway hash marks. There okay. is. Got something bigger here. Something bigger and juicier. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Jack, something. Low altitude. Low altitude. My old eye, man eyes can't tell me what it is, but there's something big there. Uh, there should be a smokestack raising up soon. It was just at the uh, aft end of that forest that we just went over. Take us up for a uh, route. So it'll be off our right wing now, three o'clock. Oh my god, an F-16 just appeared. Huh. That's ignorant. Coming to do your freaking work for you. There are trucks short right. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. No, altitude. No, altitude. I'll be those ones. Ooh, missile launchers in the trees. Oh, nice. You know what that is? That is very not Black Hawk Down. What is it? Ah, oh, what's the film? Damn it! Ah, behind uh, enemy we'll, lines. We'll, we'll, uh, yeah, yep. behind enemy lines. Yep, they were about 30 feet in the tree line. Let's see if we can get two in one, Simba. You know I like a good two in one. Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! No altitude. There's something. It's Uh, right now, I'm say two Jesus monster. Christ, we've got buzzed by a knobhead. 290 rounds. Strafing in our F-15. We're strafing in our F-15. Well, this is going to upset Uncle Putin or whoever the hell it is now. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. No, Taking out his 1960s no, Sam launchers that he would never use nowadays. But we will oversee that, Simba, because they're nice and easy. Right, I'm guessing there's one more unit there. In the middle, in the thick of those trees, there's a P-19. What the hell's that? Sounds like something you get when you get fired from your job. Yeah, I see it. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. No, oh, I'll try and go around no, and get it. Uh, 160 rounds, yo. Hello, P-19. I'm a P-19. Nope, there's still a P-19 search radar in the street. I'm going to have to go for a BDA. What's the point of putting an EWR in a friggin' trees? I see it, Simba. Hello! You've got to go hit it from yep. a certain angle. Right. Fuel is gorgeous. Burn her on. Although you did take out the uh, command and control. That is important. That's the guy who makes the tea and sandwiches. This guy's dug in like an Alabama tick. All right, you bitch. No one likes a bitch. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Are we happy? A firm. All right. Go on. Take us above clouds and give new control back. Stand by. Uh, just a warning. All the dust seems to be slipping. You may want to do traffic. that in a left-hand turn. Roger. So that we don't overfly what Russian ships are left on the map. Yeah, I just found that the hard one. Roger. I was doing an unrestricted climb. 
while stalling myself out in a cloud. Oh, look at that. That were. Oh, 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 oh. Right, Simba, you take control and don't get a shot. 270 for 60. You'll have to go low because of those ships. You want to pop? You're going to pop, Simba? No, nope, we're good. I'm no longer getting the same launch notification. Ah. Do you like how I took you up high to get shot at? It's the kind of guy I am. Yep. All right, first go landing. Good luck, sir. We're all counting on you. It was a very narrow road, Simba, even for an F-16, just saying. No pressure. Oh! Oh, what an upset! He hit a civilian car and flipped upside down. That's, um... That's interesting. Second F-16's made it down in damage. Or we could be the only ones that land this, you know. Harry's cheating. There's loads of guys down there. Biggins down there. F-16's down there. F-16's down there. Everyone's hitting the civilian cars. I don't know where all the Tomcats... Oh, the Tomcats went to the um, carrier, didn't they? Let's go and check the naval guys. Yep, they've all gone back and already landed by the looks of it. Hello, I'm still airborne. Can confirm there's invisible things on the road that you crash into. <laughs> Bad news for us, Simba. Because we've got quite a big plane. So you know. We can do it. We can do it. Maybe we'll smash the cars up. Oh, the first guy just made it without crashing. It was... Yeah. Drop some form today. I suggest touch down and then get straight on the grass. Well, Simba, we are 17 miles. It'll be a... Well, that's interesting. Yes, Somebody yes, missed something. We're fine. We're fine, Simba. But there was a loud bang. Uh, no, oh, okay. oh, pop flare, pop flare, pop flare. Oh my god, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm doing it. Where the hell the shit did that come from? Oh, Matrix left a bunch of man pads in there, that cheeky swine. We were very lucky to survive that, viewers. That just came out of nowhere. We're here now, we're here now, basically. It's uh, 10 miles on the nose. Well spotted, Simba. I could have gone a different way. I'm guessing there's a black cloud of smoke we're one of No, there's is. not, but you keep turning and I'll tell you when to stop. Keep turning. I'll take you over them and then you can visualize the landing. Most of them are despawned. There's only one plane out there. Uh, now on the... Mm, yeah. Okay, this is the road we're landing on. All right, take us in Timber, stop showing off. No one likes to show yep. off. Give me full speed brake. Full speed brake. Oh! Wow, it's much bigger than your head, you know. I'm sure you do know. Alright. Uh, we're good for gear and full flap. And gear. Uh, flaps. Come on, flaps. There we go. Flaps down. Configured. Confirm. Visual on the runway. Right, here we go. Oh, that makes it way easier. I just, I figured you need all the help you can get here, Simba. Look at Simba. Big air brake. Lovely goggles. This is how all F-15 should be landed, and you all know this. Man, I hope this thing has a friggin' parachute. I'll stare you right in the eye. Here we go. Come on, Simba. Save that mother. Save that mother. You got it. 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 That's how you land an F-15 e e e e Echo, viewers. With lots of extra sex points. Oh, that's going to have to be a thumbnail right there, I think. Oh, we did get hit. We did get hit. Avoiding the Russian traffic. Intakes. Oh, good dodge. Friggin' Volvos or Iglers or what the hell do they have? Forgotten. Those stupid cars they have. They still drive. Like 60 year old cars. Would you like me to, uh. Is that Tuxor? You won't do anything, Simba. I'm, I'm booting you out. <laughs> Imagine if you were like some Russian guy in this backwards part of the world. Well, I'm sure it's very modern actually. And then that just comes down. An F-15E. That's Grim Reaper's heaven, is what that is, Simba. Right, I'll see you with some kind of debrief. On the whole, quite a successful mission. I think if we'd let it run for another hour or so, the helos would have achieved all the objectives of dropping the troops in the three landing zones. But uh, we managed to drop them in one and two, secured the uh, landing strips of the fixed wing guys, and had a, had a bit of fun watching them land. The transport helos were a bit isolated. We weren't talking to too many people. We didn't really have a good idea of the fixed wing picture. Uh, but that seemed to be uh, going quite well. 
So there we go. That's summary so far. So perhaps we can go through the flights. Um, Ford, me and Simba uh, took off, loitered around the target, waited for C to do their job. C did their job, bombed the target, killed one ship and almost finished the other, but ran out of ordnance. Went and bombed Krimsk um, uh, site there. Landed successfully at the FOB uh, without crashing. Next. That'd be Pontiac the Tomcats. We took off, got to the cap station, engaged some MiGs and everything. Uh, I think Tanky killed a couple, Jigsaw a couple, I killed one. And right now I'm flying the pattern just about to get it back to the boat. All made it back alive. Was fun. Nice boys. Next flight. Uh, that'd be Python, the F-16 seed flight. We came in and we hit the SA-3s at uh, Anapa, Kremsk, and Novo. And uh, also shot down a couple of Su-25s that were coming into the AO. And uh, did you guys get up to anything else, Grand Speed? Or uh, Ali drop? Just followed up with a couple, some CB-105s. Oh yeah, that's right. We hit the uh, EWR after Ali... Uh, obliterated it with the cbu 105s afterwards and uh, then we rtb'd and all survived nice oh everyone's doing very well uh next yeah i think that's uh, hornet flight um we got up pretty quickly uh made our way over to the scene i was going to try and engage the frigate with um my harms um which popped up on my uh my to uh the other guys are going for the sa3s but then we got jumped by some mig 23s so we switched to air to air um, I got a kill on the MiG-23, then some MiG-21s turned up, but I got a kill on that. Um, then I tried my SA-3, but uh, arms on SA-3s, but I don't think they're connected. Um, have the other guys got anything to add? That's uh, myself and Ello in the Harriers. Uh, we took off from Invincible, or is it oh, Arc Royal, that's it. Arc Royal. Arc Royal, yeah. Um, went to uh, Waypoint 2, there wasn't much to do by the time we got there, because I think the Apaches had got there before us. Uh, so we went off to where the, all the boats were. I killed some AAA and what, a couple of speedboats and then landed and hit an invisible car. <laughs> don't know what Ello did. Um. I, I just went up uh, after that little mishap on the boat. Well, I forgot to engage my Nova's wheel steering. I fell um, off. Huh, that's a <laughs> we spawned. Luckily, Tuxor did a circuit, so we joined up ingress to the AO. Uh, he both on targets to the north. I went and helped out some guys down to the south, hit a helo, enemy. And then I hit about eight other targets back at the uh, the boat, a uh, couple of air to airs, and yeah. And uh, we went to the wrong farp. By the time I got to the other farp, I ran out of gas, had to eject, but Tuxo landed safe, and uh, yeah, that was it. Good good hop. What well, boys, next flight. So Volvo flight uh, with the Vegans tasked with destroying the fleet. Uh, unfortunately, like many of my uh, Vigan missions, it turned into a one-hour lecture on the intricacies of the CK-37 targeting and navigation computer as we tried to set up all our waypoints for the RB-15s. Okay. Um, we managed to get them all set up eventually, though. SOC disconnected before attacking, and mm. then it turned out that we'd been given the AI version of the RB-15s, which totally ignored all of the data that we'd spent <laughs> ages putting in, yeah. and they flew into the side of a cliff. Uh, then Jaffa's tried to land on the road and got hit by a civilian car, and so I've decided to uh, try and land on the carrier. So if you are currently in the pattern, I recommend you get down quick before right. the deck becomes unusable. Yeah, Thunderflight, MIA transports, uh, picked up the first chalks. Again, a bit of DCS uh, wizardry with the uh, chalks not doing what they're supposed to, but we did get some on board eventually. Headed over to landing zone one, disembarked the troops. They uh, started to move in uh, towards their assigned targets. Or some of them did anyway. Um, Poosh took some fire, so I, he was disabled. So I, I landed back on, picked him up, rescued him. Went back to the landing site, picked up another um, chalk and was heading back towards the landing zone two and managed to disembark there. So on the whole, transport, uh, MIA transport helicopters did uh, achieve the objectives. Yeah, Uzi flight, fire dad, same, pretty much exact same thing as uh, what Matrix said for Thunder flight. Got two chalks delivered to the zones and that was pretty much the end of it. Uh, Blight here from Chevy, uh, Harathan mm -hmm. and myself took off, d escorted the transport helos to uh, the drop-off zones, uh, took out some AAA, took out some uh, staggered soldiers all over the field. Uh, I think uh, uh, Harath got shot down by KA-50, I did as well. Respawned, flew back out, and I think Harath probably uh, died closer to the ships by uh, anti-air. 
and I took out some of the lighter stuff that was around the ships and then uh, RTB. Good fun. I will see you guys later. Later. Later.